Hello, I am just here making a quick video showing off the uh, 3D printed insert slash organizer for Bullet. It supports the base game, the expansion, and the second base game, so all three in one box. So let's take a look here. So we've got an extra bag on top here. You don't really need this, you could leave it out, but there it is. Um, over here we have a uh, spot for the main drawing bag and then eight player bags. These ones are from the Board Game Geek store, but the ones that come with the game right here also fit in there no problem, although it is a little tighter. Um, with these ones in here, sometimes this bag on top is a little better if it's too tight. Anyway, uh, next up we've got uh, two of these trays. There's one further in there. Um, each copy of the base game comes with these green power-up tiles, so each of these trays fits one of those sets. So if you're using a, you know, in a four-player game, you just grab one of these, dump it in a bag, and good to go. If you're going up to eight players, you just dump that second one in, and then that kind of splits it out for there. Uh, this right here has two sets of the cooperative purple power-ups here. So there's one set. And then the second one is hiding down in there. Uh, this is a tray that holds various uh, extra tokens here. It holds 18 of them. I have some fan-made printed expansions that I found online. So this is just kind of extra space for future characters or if you have some fan-made ones. It's also just kind of acts as a spacer. Um, so let's dig this, let's get this one out here. So there's two of these, they're identical, and there are two parts. They're upside down, so actually the lid is on the bottom. So when you wanna get into it, you flip it over, take the lid off, and there you have your deluxe tokens. This is the same, same thing here. So you can have two sets of those for up to eight players. Um, the reason it's in the box upside down is so that you can grab it without the lid, you know, wanting to come off. So I keep them upside down. Um, so let's take a look at what else we have here. So we have all of the character boards here in a giant stack. Um, so that is all the characters from all three sets there, as well as their second board right behind it. Um, I, I kind of have them organized in complexity, but you can do that however you want to. Underneath there is going to be the intensity track, and then we have this second uh, token holder here. This holds, let's see, 2 times 8, so this holds 16 uh, tokens here. It's not quite enough for the complete game, um, so if you have both both sets of those with the deluxe tokens, you will have to put a couple in this one. I think if you're using all eight of these lightning bolts, I actually have them in this extra little cubby here. So when you add more players to the game, there's also the extra lightning bolts you need. Uh, the next part we have here, we already know what that is, is the card tray. Um, this has all the characters' names down the side here. The quality is a little off, but I've fixed that since I printed this one here. Um, basically, there are these acrylic spacers here. So you can kind of fan through, find the one you're looking for. So if we look for QP here, should be right in here. So we go, there we go, perfect. Let's take a look at Jane Doe right there. Cool, got her. And Ling Ling is right here in this spot. So you can see the text lines up with the gap there. So there we go. Um, these acrylic pieces will come already snapped in um, to the correct spots, but it is modular. I'm trying to get down in there so you can see. So there are a bunch of slots in there, so you could theoretically take them out and move them if you wanted to. For example, if your game wasn't sleeved, you could you know, shift them over and have more space here. Um, but they are set up so that if you have the game fully sleeved, there's enough space for everything here. Um, the boss cards go in with the character cards. So here's the character cards, 
and the boss cards. I don't have the boss ones sleeved at the moment, but um, anyway. Uh, so yep, that's these things. There's also enough of a lip on them if you can see that you could add a label to it. That way if you're fanning through the front here, you can read, okay, here's, you know, this character. Uh, it won't come with that, but it will be printed on the side there. So um, last we have in the box here is the sight boards. There's eight of them right now for both the core games. And then we have the rule book. You could put this on top, but I know the game well enough that I just like to leave it in the box in the bottom so I never have to really take it out. So let's put it back together real quick. Um, so first thing we'll put in is the card tray here. And I'm doing this one-handed so it might be a little tricky, but uh, then we'll go ahead and put in the box for the bags. It is a little tight right now, but I'm going to make a couple of adjustments, so bear with me there. So we're going to put this in. Oh. We forgot these sideboards, so let's put those in right quick. Right there, perfect. Put this back on top. And this guy in here. Okay, next we'll want to put these in, like that. And we've got this one. I accidentally flipped that over. And then these, you can just put wherever you want to. Okay, we'll put one here and one here. It's obviously missing some stuff I dumped out, but anyway. And we will put this in top here and this one. And then you can either leave this bag inside here or on top. So, after it's all closed up, there is a little bit of lift on the lid just because of how much is in there, but. Um, I prefer that over having multiple boxes of stuff. So that is the organizer there. Thanks for watching.